Okay, y'all, I don't know if this view is wide enough, but this is how I am determining how to cut the blanket out. So I'm just going to cut here. Let me see. I'm going to draw a line first because... <laughs> It's your girl Jay. We in the car with the intentions of going to just get um, <laughs> a border for the rest of the blanket. Now, I'm not saying that's all we gonna get. Well, yeah, that's all I'm supposed to be getting. But I'm just gonna let it do what it do. Okay, we gonna we gonna we gonna see what happens. But that's my intentions to go get a border for the baby blanket so that I can finish it and get it ready for my daughter and start on the um, robe, the pajama pants. What else I got to start on? The robe, the pajama pants, and the baby swaddle, I think it is, the baby swaddle, and another headband for the baby. So uh, that's what I'm doing. So we're going to Hobby Lobby um, before all the crazy traffic get out. It's raining today. And my screen look a little bit uh, cloudy. Hold on, y'all. Let me wipe y'all face off. Y'all looking dirty up in here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I don't want y'all looking all super dirty up in here. And y'all can see me a little clearer. It is raining here in Milwaukee off and on. And it just keeps doing it off and on. So I figure, you know, get out before all the traffic starts from school and whatever. And uh, get it over with and come back and finish the blanket real quick because that's not going to take long. And I think I'm going to share with y'all how I, how I set up my uh, serger because I want to do um, like a two thread on the blanket. I don't want to do the full four. So I'm going to, I might get some, I didn't check, I know I got some pink serger thread, but I may get another color, another lighter pink, or I think I got plenty of white, but you know, who knows, we may trade. Weston, you supposed to be in the back seat on the rug, with your wet feet all over my leather seat. Oh, Y'all, my supervisor is a hot mess. He, oh, he don't never listen. He do what he want to do. He think this is his car. Um, so, but anyway, we headed to Hobby Lobby, and I will check in when I get back, get to the store. Okay? Alright, y'all. See y'all in a minute, because I got to pay attention to the road.
shout out to my new subscriber that I met at Hobby Lobby. Hey girl, hey, be creative. Don't forget to share so I can share you out, okay? Okay, y'all, it's your girl, Jay Sotastic. So what? I don't know what we're doing. Some sewing over here in this last couple of months, we've been doing some sewing. So as y'all saw in the previous video, I ran out of, um, I mean, well, in this video, in the beginning of this video, I ran out of um, ribbon to, no, a border, the satin border to go around the blanket. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I said that I wasn't going to buy nothing else, but um, yeah, that didn't happen. So y'all know if you go to Hobby Lobby, you just can't come out there with, hold on, y'all, one thing, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So I said I was going to make a baby pillow. So I did get the stuffing for the baby pillow. And the stuffing was $3.57. Let's see if y'all can see that. Okay, $3.57. All right, for the filler. And um, I did get the ribbon. And it was a $1.49 a yard. So I got a yard of the ribbon to complete the blanket. And I went back and got the sign that I saw the other day when I was there. Um, sewing mends the soul. And I do believe that because sometimes when I'm, you know, in that space, uh, yeah, I get a little, you know, start to sew. So anyway, and then I got a letter for 89 cent. It says C for Sierra. No, Kyra. Ooh, my daughter be mad. I hope she didn't watch this video hear me talk about some Sierra, but it's Kyra. And why am I super shiny? Now, where I'm going to put that at, um, I don't know. I hope they put it in her room on something. And I also got, let's see, um, this mat. We saw it the other day when we were shopping, and it was $2.24. It's a washing mat, so it goes with the theme of everything else that, um, you know, Kyra's got going on. And um, yeah, I picked up I picked up some batteries for my locks, yeah, for my door locks. And um, I also picked up this sign that was two dollars. What happens in the sewing room stays in the sewing room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just um, in a mood to buy little things for the house, and so. I planned on doing an embroidery of Kyra's name on her blanket as well. Y'all didn't know your girl could do that, did she? Yes, she can. <laughs> so I brought that and I brought some thread and I brought a hoop to, you know, kind of like hold the material tight and um, soak in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the letters on the blanket and then I'm just going to sew over each one of those letters. So that's embroidery. Okay. I found this trim. It was $249. All right. It is from Robert Stanley Collection. $249 on sale was normally $10. And so it's X and O's. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put it on yet, but it's going on something. Something an uh, uptycle, probably. And I did get some needles too to embroider the name on there with. Um, and I got some threads. So when I complete my wardrobe, I'll have the right color threads and I got three different ones. So, um, there are three different greens. Hopefully you can see the three different colors there. I'll put... So you can see the three different colors they are. So I'll be using that on the wardrobe. Uh, series and let's see what else I got um, for Kyra. Hold on, y'all. I found this because y'all know this is part of Kyra's um, theme. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, what I'm gonna put it on the end of it. I do knit and crochet, but I haven't done so in quite some time. But I think. I may want to put this around the edging of the pillow. It is super soft, super soft. And it was, I don't know how much it was. I, sometimes I don't be checking prices. Oh, it was $5.99. So, and it wasn't on sale. So that was kind of, hmm. oh yeah. And I got this one too from the merchant. It is also some straps. 
And I plan on adding these to the cargo pants if I ever get around to it. <laughs> or any other pants for that matter. Hopefully y'all can see what it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, it's got little, little, little um, hoops on it. So, let me just see. Can y'all see that? See ya. I know it's hard to see, but I can't face that. And it was uh, $3.24 for this whole roll. And it was normally $12.99. I don't know if it's upside down or not. So, yeah. Like that. Okay. All right. And then, what else I'm going to do, y'all? <laughs> don't be mad, y'all. Don't be mad. Also got oh also got this wide um, border. It was a dollar twenty four, so I couldn't leave it. It was normally five dollars, and it's one hundred percent polyester. Um, I don't even know what it feel like, but I don't know. Something made me get it, so it's white as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't even know what it feel like. It feel like oh um, this is um. It could be um um what do you call that when uh, you put it behind the you y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I'm calling it it is uh, it could be um when you're trying to give things structure you know what it is I don't know when I find a word I'll put it down here at the bottom y'all know what it is and yep I didn't pass up I did find this um skirt. For my granddaughters. If I have any fabric left over, um, and it is new look pattern, if I have any fa uh, fabric left over from my daughter's stuff, I'm going to make the other two girls a skirt. Okay, and I found um, this baby bloomer. If I have, like I said, if I have something left over, I might make this. For my granddaughter, my new granddaughter, and this is for my other two granddaughters. Okay, so I have three granddaughters, and I had to pick up something for myself, so I did get myself um, this top right here. I love this, you guys. New look pattern. I like this top. Look at that. I like, really like this. This That's why I got it. This kind of old looking for me, but I like this top right here. And I think this top would be cute on me. I do. And I didn't get no buttons yet because I do have some buttons here, but then I have buttons that I've taken off of other stuff that I may use for that. And if not, I may um, hack it and just use the tie. So, yeah, I, I could just, you know, when I say by that is taking the sleeves off, it's the same thing, except for it's, it's not leaning over to the side so it's this one without the sleeves or this one with some buttons and if i don't want to do the button hoop thingies i see that i see on here i might just fake it and put the buttons on there and sew down you know sew this down and put the buttons on the side so that's ways you can do that if you ain't you know a button girl and I brought myself some lifesaver gummies, which I already busted into. So that is my haul. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have a haul, but okay, well, maybe it's what it is. I was not going in there to Hobby Lobby to buy all of this stuff, but um, yeah, I did. So charge it to my heart, not my head. It's already charged to my pocket. <laughs> I can't change that. They can't change it. I'm just getting little stuff to decorate my room with, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so let's get into finishing this blanket, okay, y'all? Okay, family, time for a commercial break. I think I'm going to cut this pattern out and make three of them for my granddaughters. For the baby... 
<laughs> I don't know. I might make it smile. I don't know. I don't know if I want to use those teeth because it looked kind of scary to me. But this was on the back of um, the filling, and it's a free pattern. So, yeah. Commercial break is over. Let's get back to sewing. Okay, family. <laughs> Y'all truly do be watching the videos. One of my subscribers sent this to me in the mail. Y'all know what it looked like before. I'm not even going to remind you, but it was a hot mess, I must say. And so they probably felt like, girl, you need to look good while you're on here. So, <laughs> so they sent me this ironing board cover, and I am so thankful for it. It is so nice and thick, and it even has straps. Y'all see my ugly green one up, up under there? It's still on top. It's under the bottom of it, I mean. So this one is covering it now. And it fits my board perfectly. So now when I'm ironing, y'all don't have to see <laughs> that big old burn spot that I had. It's the little things, you guys. It's the little things that mean so, so, so much. I would never have expected a subscriber to send me something. But I am so appreciative. Thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> because I was just on my table laying out this green fabric. And I was also getting ready to take this sheet that I had got from the thrift store and make me an ironing board cover. So now I don't have to do it. <laughs> I just thought I'd share it. Another little commercial break within this video so let me get to this other part we not done because your girl been busy she cut the applique off of the um dress i don't know if y'all remember me showing it to you but i've been cutting so i've been working behind the scenes doing little things here is let me see here is the rest of the fabric here i haven't done anything with it yet okay so I do have to do something with that. Um, I did finish the baby blanket. Um, I also picked up the letter C. I think I shared this with you in the video early. It was 89 cent. It's a Christmas ornament for my granddaughter who is on her way in June. And I'm making a pillow for her here. And I'm gonna put this around it. I think I shared that part too. But the blanket is done, you guys, and it's beautiful. It came out so nice. So thanks for watching my video. I appreciate y'all. And thank you so much. You know who you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, somebody wanted to see the baby blanket, and it came out so nice. And what I'm going to do, I have one more thing I want to do to it, and that is probably cover up the stitching which came out so beautifully you guys it came out it's gorgeous I'm so proud of me <laughs> but it really came out nice and I want to cover it though so I'm gonna get some pink um, binding tape either that whatever they have I know it's binding tape is only 99 cent so I'm gonna go pick some of that up and get that and then I'll go around it and um yeah, then it'll be completely finished. But the baby blanket is done. Okay. I was just about getting ready to do a tor tutorial. Uh, film a tutorial for making the making a top with this green. I think that's what I'm going to make out of it. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a top. Or if it's going to be the belt. I don't know what it's going to be, y'all. But it's going to be something. Okay, it's going to be something. Just all the material I have. Only had, um, let's see here. What is this? Uh, it's a knit. And it was 59 inches wide and 0 .806 yards of fabric. And it was for 338 Okay, so, yeah. I bought the other fabric for three dollars a yard. This was three thirty-eight for just point eight zero six. But that green down there, I bought five yards, five and a half yards actually, of that, and it was three dollars a yard. So, 
you know, you win some, you lose some. But <laughs> I was getting ready to lay this out and see if um, my pattern is going to work with it. If not as a top, then it might be the belt. So we'll see. But y'all got to stay tuned to find out what's going to happen with this fabric. All right, y'all. My supervisor. Uh-oh, he's mad at me. I can get back to work, y'all. Okay, okay, supervisor. Okay.